For this kind of problem, first just look at what you have. I have a mass, I have a volume, I have a temperature, I have a pressure, and I want a molar mass. So I have a PV, uh, a mass could easily be turned into moles. So ideal gas law is what lends itself here. We're not going to use, if you know the combined gas law, Boyle's law, Charles law, etc. Because those would mean going from one state to another. So in those I should see something, a couple things changing, like pressure changing, volume changing, etc. I don't see anything changing here. So that's a sure sign of the ideal gas law. PV equals nRT. Now this is a common variant on the ideal gas law where we give, ask you and give you things uh, that are not in here. For example, mass is not here, though we could easily convert. And molar mass is not in here either, which is what we want. So we can easily put that in by knowing what molar mass is. What's the units of molar mass? It's grams per mole. Grams per mole. So it's really, if you want to write a formula, it's mass per moles. So that will be our formula that we're going to substitute in right there. So let's do that. And if you wanted to do two separate calculations, you could. I just usually prefer to do substitutions. Either way is totally fine. So I'm going to substitute, let's solve for n. n is mass over molar mass. So I'm going to substitute that in for n because we don't have n. And so the PV is m over capital M, RT. Now, I have everything I want in here, and I have the capital M molar mass, which is what I want to solve for. So let's solve for that first, so we know which formula we're using. Capital M will be little m, RT over PV. That's the formula I'm going to use to solve, and I have everything given. The only problem I'm going to run into is they're not in the right units. So, Mass, that's fine. Um, this should be in liters because I, take, I recommend that you follow the ideal gas law constant, which is in liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin. So this should be in liters, this should be in Kelvins, and this should be in atmospheres. Again, based on our capital R, our capital R. So capital M, molar mass, is mass, 0.496 grams. So the ideal gas law is going to be one of those laws, uh, one of those formulas. From now on, we're going to have very few formulas that don't use SI units, and this is just going to be one of those rare ones. So from now on, you'll just see more and more that are SI unit kind of formulas. Uh, let's see. So this one is R.08, 206. This is just one of those funny ones that it's a little easier not to use SI units. There's R. That'll be something I give you on an exam. T is going to be 65.7 plus 273. I usually just keep three sig figs here. If you're really into it, you could add the 0.15. It's totally up to you, but that'll be units of Kelvin. For an exam, I wouldn't care. And then uh, divided by P and V. P is 746 millimeters mercury. Again, you should know how to convert between the pressures. So we want atmospheres, again, to follow R. So it's 760 uh, millimeters of mercury for one atmosphere. So there's pressure in the right units. Now we've got to do volume. It's 136 milliliters. But I want to change this to liters. Again, follow our gas law constant. You do that calculation, you'll have M. Is that okay? Yeah.